Hi everybody, it's me your old friend Dale Howard. Today I'd like to show you how you can use a very special built-in view known as the Relationship Diagram View to analyze task dependency relationships in views where it's difficult to do so otherwise. So let's take a look at my project. First of all, I think you realize that in the regular Gantt chart view, it's not terribly difficult to analyze task dependency relationships. You can eyeball the link lines. You can drag your split bar over. In addition to the predecessor's column, you can insert the successor's column. And you can get a fairly good idea of what task dependency relationships are. But where it gets difficult is when you go to a view like the task usage view. In the task usage view, you have absolutely no idea what the task dependency relationships are. You can't even guess very well. So I want to show you how to create a custom view that will solve this problem pretty nicely. So to create the custom view, I'll go to the Gantt chart pick list button, and I'll choose More Views. In the More Views dialog, there's a button called New. When I click that button, it'll open the Define New View dialog. And in this view, I want to create a custom combination or split screen view. So when I click OK, it's going to ask me for a name. I'm going to call this Dependency Analysis. And now I have to pick which view I want in the top pane. So what I would like is let's use task usage in the top pane and this very special view called Relationship Diagram in the bottom pane. I'd also like to show this view in the menu of most commonly used views. So I'll click OK and then I'll click Apply. So ladies and gentlemen, if I start scrolling down through the list of tasks, Look, Microsoft Project is identifying the list of predecessors and successors for each task in the project. So for example, with task number seven, there's one direct predecessor and a number of direct successors. If I go down to task number 52, for example, this is another good one to show. Task 52, look at here, I've got two direct predecessors four direct successors. Now let's go back up to task number 18 and I'll show you more about how this works. Long lead procurement complete. Look, here are all of the predecessors, but the only trouble is I have no idea which one of these is actually the driving predecessor, which is the one that's ultimately controlling the schedule of this task. So in addition to this special combination view, I can also use a built-in feature in Microsoft Project called the Task Inspector. And if I bring up the Task Inspector side pane over on the left side, it reveals that task number 17, Detail, Fabricate, and Deliver Steel, this predecessor right here, is actually the driving predecessor that controls the, uh, the schedule of this task. So folks, there you have it. I hope you'll go ahead and create this new custom view. Use it to your heart's content. You can even use it with the Gantt chart view if you'd like. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.